Hey guys, Chris Cards here, back with another video. Hope you guys have been having a great weekend. I'm sorry I've been slow on the videos. I've been a busy man this week, so haven't really gotten to anything. But I did get this in the mail today, Saturday. Wanted to share with you guys. You guys saw me recently open up the Topps X Fernando Tatis cards. This is going to be the Topps X Vlad Guerrero set. So... A little bit different format than the Tati set. These are actually the complete set. So remember the poorly collated cards I got out of the Topps X for another Tatis cards and I didn't get my Pete Alonso Polar Bear card. These are complete sets. These aren't packs. You're going to get what you get out of these. And there's two different versions. There's the Legends version that you see right here. The Legends is basically the complete set. They were $24.95. I got $10. Uh, the big deal is the Legend Collector's Edition set. This is going to have a hit and a parallel added to the set. So we'll get the complete set. So I'll open these five today. We'll see who we get. Uh, the autographs are 1.2 per box. So probably one per box. Maybe we'll get shut out at one. Plus there'll be relics. There'll also be autographs of Vlad Jr. that are inserted at one in about six boxes. So we may or may not get a Vlad Jr. hit out of this. And those parallels are numbered between 25, 10, 5, and 1. I do believe they are not numbered. I'm not sure why. Probably had to do with the timing and them having to get this out the door as quickly as possible. So, And one more thing before I show you my cards real quick. Let's get this. And one more thing real quick as I get this box out of the way. It was Cyber Week for Tops Online the other week. Uh... One, two, three, four. I got four cards. Each day, if you spent uh, each order, if you were one of the first thousand orders, you got one of these Cyber Monday cards. And unfortunately, I, I only logged in on Black Friday thinking it started on Black Friday and went for the next few days. It did not. It started a couple days before Black Friday. So I actually missed a couple cards. Pretty bummed out about it. But since I bought, I buy so much Tops Living, I have a ton of points. So I get a lot of Tops Now cards for, or top, Tops Now cards for basically nothing. So uh, I was able to pick up these cards. Here's a Shohei Otani. That was probably Cyber, that was probably uh, Black Friday. This was the Saturday, Mike Trout. Sunday was Fernando Tatis Jr. and Pete Alonso on Monday, Cyber Monday. That was the last card. So I placed an order each day to get these cards. Not sure if they made the full thousand of them. You can see the back. Congratulations, you received a 2019 Top Cyber Weekend trading card featuring Pete Alonso. I'll write down below who the other cards are that I missed. I mean, I know I missed Guerrero, uh, but I got Pete Alonso, which was the big one to me, and the Tatis as well, the Trout. I like them all, really. So uh, they're black cards. The borders are pretty sharp. You know, black cards are hard to get in a fairly good grade, but these cards look pretty sharp. So pretty stoked about Picking those up as well. But let's check out this Vlad Jr. X Top card. Let's see who we can pull out of these five uh, hit boxes. All right, guys, boxes. just like the Tatis, we have a 40 card base set. And we have 2,474 complete sets. These were on sale for three weeks total. Here you see the collector's editions have the collector's edition tag on them. Here are my five collector edition boxes. Here are all the other regular just sets. All right, here we go. These labels, you want to see how much I order from Tops? Check that out. I've gotten so tired of putting these on my uh, boxes, I just, I just throw them in the garbage can now. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. This top card should be our hit. Oh, sick. There we go. Man, nice. So we got a, a, a hit right away of our 1 in 1 1.6. Oh, look at that. There's our parallel. 4 of 10 rookie card of Chris Paddock. We're not screwing around with this. Let's check this out. Not the best signature in the world. Tatis has a much better autograph than Vlad Jr. But this is my first Vlad Jr. auto. Right off the bat there, guys. And if you want to know what the difference, the price difference in between the regular set and the autograph slash hit set slash box, I'm not sure if you want to call it a box or a set, um, 
is 50 bucks. So the collector's edition box was $75. And just a regular old set was $24.95, I do believe. So there you go, guys. All right, and there's the paddock, four of 10 from this one. So these are numbered, actually. So maybe I misunderstood the rules of the game. So there are the two hits from this box, guys. The numbered four out of 10 Chris Paddock rookie card. And there is the Vlad Jr. On card auto rookie. Super cool. Let's check out the rest of this set. We won't have to check out the other sets because they'll all be identical except for the first two cards. Make sure the light's hitting that. There's the Vlad Jarrett. There's the Vlad Jr. we just saw signed. It's Tatis. Pete Alonso. Don't call him Big Meat Pete, guys. Come on. There's so many other better nicknames for him. Don't call him Big Meat Pete. That's that's not a good nickname. That's nothing no man should say about another man, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but let's call him the polar bear, man. They're they're cute. Cute and cuddly. Kevin Biggio, Greg's little boy. There's the paddock. Nine wins, 153 uh, S, 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 O. It looks like a B, man. Wow, he had 153 stolen bases. That's got to be a rookie record for a pitcher. 2.6 war. He did not stay up all season long. He was sent down. There's an Eloy Jimenez in the um, throwback White Sox unis from the early 80s. Those are pretty sweet, actually. 31 bombs, 79 RBIs. I mean, he's where's his set? He's probably had a better he's probably had a better year than Guerrero, but he certainly didn't get the hype Guerrero did. There's a Telez. Danny Jansen. I can feel a uh, Rowdy Telez autograph coming on. There's Vlad Jr. with the um, CN Tower in the background. That's a cool shot. There's a Cavan Biggio. I'm not sure I would have went with that shot. There's Greg. There's Senior. There's Lourdes Gurriel with a plain red cap. I wonder if they um, photoshopped that out. Probably they photoshopped the photoshopped a logo out or something like that that they weren't authorized to use. There's Ken Griffey Senior. Home Run Derby Legends. What a wonderful Home Run Derby this year. Pete Alonso, the polar bear, had a good draw. Junior was able to win it in a emphatic, emphatic fashion, complete with the the bear yell, the growl, and then the bat flip and hugging his cousin. Or there's Ioannis. This was at City Field, I do believe. Acuna, Harper. There's Bobby Abreu. 2005. This is Bob. This is, by the way, the Derby Legends subset. Jock Peterson, who put on a show in 2019. Great showdown. Aaron Judge in 2017. Guerrero Jr. there. So plenty of base friends and friends and favorites here of Guerrero. Who knows if that's true or not? But Fernando Tatis. There we go. Some decent rookies in here. Pete Alonso. So I got my fill of Pete Alonso's in this box. So you guys see any of if you guys see anybody you collect in here, you can probably find these singles on eBay for probably three or four or five bucks, something like that. There's Harper. Last card is Juan Soto. And there you have it, guys. That is the 2019 Tops X Vlad Jr. 40 card set. There was nine rookie campaigns in there, ten fathers and sons. 10 home run derby moments and 11 friends and favorites. So they piecemeal together a 40 card set. Thematically speaking, they piecemealed it together with different themes. The rookie card explosion box, volume 12, which I got a few days ago and I haven't done yet just because I'm trying to think of something interesting to do. I've kind of already did the Christmas box with the holiday box. So, all right, on card auto of Danny Jansen. It was either going to be Rowdy Telez or Danny Jansen. So there you go. Let's see if there is a parallel in here as well. It will be this second card and it will be a parallel. Huh. 
Is this a parallel? See, now the 10 was numbered. This is not numbered, but this is clearly a parallel. Which is pretty sweet, because it's a Tatis. So let's go ahead and sleeve this up before I get fingerprints on it. All right, guys, so far so good. Let's get on to the third box. All right, guys, let's check this out. Oh, there we go. Bobby Abreu. Home Run Derby Legends card, Bobby Abreu. Now that is a pretty sweet auto from Phillies legend, Bobby Abreu. And our parallel is going to be Jock Peterson. I'll look it up. I'll do some more research. If I find out anything more accurate than just me guessing, I'll put it on the screen below. You guys can read it and figure it out. Figure out the truth of what I'm saying. So our third box, Bobby Abreu Auto, Jock Peterson, Parallel. There we go, guys, right off the bat. Game-worn jersey from Vlad Jr. That is a thick card, as you see. So the exciting part for me as a Pete Alonso super collector all of a sudden is I really have a lot of Pete Alonso cards to go out and get now. Right now, that's not the cheapest thing to do. His cards, I mean, if he has a sophomore slump, his cards might be obviously more manageable to pick up. But man, there's so many different cards of his out there. And it'll be fun tracking them down. It's not overwhelming. It's not annoying. It's, it's if, if, you, if you're annoyed and overwhelmed by collecting, then probably this is not the right hobby for you. So I'm not. I'm excited to kind of get this complete checklist and sort of see who I've got. I've also been keeping up on all the Tops Now cards and all that stuff too. So I have I think I've got a lot of the heavy lifting done, but I'm sure there's a lot of obscure stuff out there I'm not aware of that I need to pick up. So stuff like this helps. And I got to track down that Polar Bear card that was in the uh, Fernando Tatis set. All right, guys, last box, I do believe. Yes, it is. This is number five. Come on, baby, give me somebody good. Uh, Lourdes Goriel Jr., Sticker auto. Not the end of the world. Had a decent year. Let's see if we can get ourselves a numbered parallel card. Oh, sweet. We did. An out of 10 of Vlad Sr. Super cool. All right, guys. Just going to go over the hits real quick with you. All right, guys. Quick recap of the hits. Got a couple of numbered cards. There's Chris Paddock out of 10. There's Vlad Sr. out of 10. Our autos are on card. Vlad Jr. auto. Pretty sweet. These are sticker autos of Bobby Abreu. Danny Jansen. Lourdes Goriel Jr. Nice. Kevin Vigio. Jock Peterson. And there's Fernando Tatis Jr. All parallels. There you guys go. There's the Vlad. Here's the regular. Just a set. Here's the collector's edition with the hits in them. Let, let me know what you guys thought of this opening. If it's for you. If you're not into all these extra little sets Tops does. And you're on sort of the money grab side of things as far as what people think of all these extra sets. But I think they're fun, I guess. If you want to collect them, you can collect them. If you um, do want to hate them, you can just not buy them. So pretty simple decision. There you go, guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll be back with another video on Monday, through the mail Monday, so I'll see you then.